We have presented an abundance of facts in these modules, and to give you an opportunity to validate our information, we are providing you with support data from third-party entities. In the module about substrates, we discuss the fact that the greater the amount of zinc, the greater the service life and its resistance against corrosion. This is a data sheet from U.S. Steel Corporation that clearly supports the fact that more zinc is better. The length of time to red rust is proportional to the thickness of the zinc coating. Thicker HDG, or hot dip galvanized coatings, are available that can provide the proportionally longer usable lifetimes that many applications require. For most people, their home or business is a prized possession and a thicker galvanized coating is easily warranted. Steelscape, another large steel producer, also touts the value of more zinc. If the application does not require long-term corrosion resistance, G40 is appropriate. With one-third more zinc, G60 provides additional protection. With its still heavier coating, G90 is up to the challenges of more rigorous, long-term applications. Now let's look at Galvalume proof of data. Zenal is Steelscape's trademark for their Galvalume sheet. Here they state the unique combination of aluminum and zinc can outlast galvanized steel by two to four times depending on the environment. This U.S. Steel data sheet states, bare galvalume sheet steel has exceptional corrosion protection. For most environments, the full lifetime of the product has not yet been determined. Also note that this chart extends to 30 years for most environments before 5% red rust is accumulated. Compare that to U.S. Steel's galvanized data sheet that indicates 12 years until 5% red rust for G90 in a rural environment. Note the much lower number of years to 5% red rust for other environments. It is also important to note that this chart refers to bare galvanized. While a paint coating will significantly increase the usable life of galvanized, research indicates the life will still not match that of galvalume. In fact, this technical brochure contains research from actual projects featuring pre-painted galvalume and pre-painted galvanized. The end result indicates superior performance of pre-painted galvalume panels. Now let's look at proof of data paint coatings. You may hear some companies or contractors make a claim that siliconized polyester coatings are just as good as PVDF or Kynar 500 coatings. Well, the evidence is not there. In the coating module, you saw images that clearly illustrate the difference in performance. Now, let's look at what the paint manufacturers say about the difference. It is important to note that these companies make both siliconized polyester and Kynar 500 coatings. BASF markets their PVDF coating under the Fluoroceram trade name, which they refer to as the top of the line finishing product and they say the coating is particularly well suited for high profile projects where long term aesthetics and durability are of primary importance. If you are a home or business owner, long term aesthetics and durability are most likely of primary importance to you. Axo Nobel markets their Kynar 500 coating under the train name Trinar, which they claim provides the most long lasting weather resistant color finishes for pre-painted metal used in construction. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of Axo Nobel's siliconized polyester coating called Ceramistar to their Trinar PVDF coating. Note how often the word superior is shown for the Kynar 500 coating, which is further evidence that PVDF coatings are the industry's best option. For more information, here are some internet sites you can visit and download.